Hi, I'm Willa Grace Mystic, and I want to talk to you about the rest of June. Uh, the first half was action-packed. It's just gearing up at this point. We are now going to have Mercury, which we are in the shadow of, go into retrograde. Uh, Mercury is it's going uh, it's June 17th to July 12th. It's going to be in the sign of Cancer. Now, Mercury is the planet of thought, idea, um, it's ruled by Gemini, so higher thinking, um, positive, negative, and it's going to be going retrograde in the sign of Cancer. Now, Cancer is about, think about the crab, and meaty on the inside and crusty on the outside, and what does the crab want to take care of? It's ruled by the moon. It wants to take care of our home, the needs. So we are going to be thinking back, or retrograde means rethink, revise, redo, reflect on things that, that the sign of cancer is concerned about. So what do we need to protect our home? What do we need to protect um, ourselves, our values? We are going to be taking all this energy and saying, okay, now what do I do with this? Where do I need to reflect? Where do I need to refocus? Now, Mercury is joining the other planets that are already in retrograde that's building up with this huge energy that we have. Um, we have Venus in the sign of Gemini. Remember Venus, and it's going to be coming out of retrograde soon. Hallelujah. It doesn't go into retrograde very often, but when it does, it hits us with an impact to our heart. So Venus in the sign of Gemini, uh, we are rethinking people that from our past that are coming back into it. Um, Jupiter, the gaseous planet, the expansion, uh, makes wants to make everything bigger, brighter, better, is in the sign of Capricorn. So it wants to expand upon or shed light on things that are Capricorn related, rules, higher, higher um, business, uh, the government. So we are going to be uh, ex expanding or seeing more into and reflecting, reviewing, revising things that have to do with our government or our systems. And you can see that with the protests and everything else that's going on. Uh, Sagittarius, I'm sorry, not Sagittarius, Saturn. Saturn is the planet, it has the rings around it. And I always say, think about rules and regulations. And it's in the sign of Aquarius. Now, it wants to have these rules and Aquarius is, wants to be free thinking. So they're kind of like in conflict with each other. So we are going to want to, what rules do we need to, what laws, what rules, what things have we been moving forward with that we now need to rethink? Do we need to have the type of government that we have? Do we need to have this? Um, it's it's going to question everything, anything that has to do with our government all the way down and creating all this energy is creating a new we are transforming into a new speaking of transforming pluto pluto is also in retrograde in the sign of capricorn pluto means transformation it wants us to redo uh, its birth death rebirth and revisiting things capricorn is the rules and regulations so at this point, we have all this energy setting us up for a new like revolution of where are we going? In a year from now, we're gonna look back and say, oh, we have transformed from the old way that we had schools, the old, the old way that we would um, have work in brick and mortar buildings. We are gonna be working more from home. Schools may be like a hybrid of part school, part online. Um, people are going to be rethinking these things and cancer and uh, so mercury and the, the sign of cancer is saying let's rethink this and what are my needs uh, remember that mercury goes retrograde three times a year uh, always in the same sign in the water sign well this time it's the water sign so it's always in the same element so now we're in a water sign and we, this is our second go round with it. We have one more after this. So it goes, you know, three times a year. So we're now experiencing this and saying, all right, I need to be the crab. I need to protect myself, my home, my career, my family. What are my needs to move forward to make sure that we can be healthy, happy, successful in all these ways? 
So all that energy, throw in, yay, we are gonna be having, uh, let's see, June 19th, uh, North Node's gonna conjunct our sun. North Node is our purpose, our sun is our identity. And so it's going to be illuminating what is my life's purpose? How do I move forward with things? And then a highlight of is going to be June 21st. Sun is going to enter, enter Cancer. It's our summer solstice. So longest day of the year. Uh, new moon and a solar eclipse. So new moon as in let's set your intentions for where do you want to go moving forward. This is a time for you to rewrite the script for your destiny. We are taking all of this retrograde, rethink, revise, coming together as a whole. Where do we fit in with society? Where do we fit in with our new career, new job, new everything? We are transforming into what will be new for us. And cancer, well, this Mercury retrograde in cancer, wants us to say, I need to do this and I need to be safe while I'm doing it. How do I make this happen? Set your intentions out there with the new moon. What do you want to now transform and become new? Turn over into what do you want to transform into? What is new to you? Where do you belong with this? Now, um, hallelujah that uh, Venus is going to be coming out of retrograde on, uh, she goes direct on June 25th. So at that point, uh, where we've been feeling confused or people have come back and revisited us and from past, meaning our friends, our relationships with people, places, and things of, that we value and love, uh, we're going to have relief and clarity about where do we want to go with this. The Mars energy and all of this is going to say, look, if it doesn't serve you well, we need to sever it. We need to cut it. We need to remove it. Um, we need to move forward with this. Mars in Aries and Mars is going to have a huge impact on the second half of the month. And it's going to say, let's make bold actions. Let's transform and move into a new movement of what do we want? Do I want to become part of this larger movement because we see it happening in front of us? Or do I just want to take care of my own? Uh, you can look at your house system, your astrology chart and say, where is all this hitting me? And you'll know exactly where you're going to be moving forward. Um, for more on this, follow me at Willow Grace Mystic, Facebook, Instagram, podcast, and um, we can talk astrology or tarot. You can set up time with me. Uh, I heart you. We got this. Mm -hmm.